I've never done a black and white theme in my bullet journal, so for this month, I decided to do this photography slash camera kind of theme. So grab your book and come and plan with me. Hey guys, I'm coming at you with this brand new, beautiful, beautiful journal. If you haven't seen my bullet journal migration video, I set up all these beginning spreads. So if you're interested in that, I'll link that down in the description box. And if you're interested in this notebook, I've got a 10% discount code. So definitely take advantage of that. And here we go with my July plan with me. Following on from last month's really simple fireflies theme, for this month I just wanted to do something quite simple. I thought about this photography slash camera kind of idea and I really wanted it to be as minimal or as simple as possible but I also wanted it to be effective. So drawing the camera for the cover page is very easy. I just drew a massive rectangle, rounded the corners and then drew this trapezium at the top. And so easy, I drew around a few circular objects to represent the lens. It was honestly so, so easy, guys. And I outlined the entire shape using my Tombow pens. So all the materials I use are linked down in the description if you're interested. And then I added a July title in block capital lettering. This month actually marks a year since I started uploading Plan With Me content on my YouTube channel. It's actually crazy. If you wanna see my first video, I'll link it down below. Last July, I went for a really cute watermelon theme. And I'm not gonna to lie to you, the production value has definitely been upgraded, but it's all about growth, isn't it? Definitely take a look at that video. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I'm all about these quote pages. And for this month, of course, I had to pick something along the theme of camera. And I picked when life gets blurry, adjust your focus. Now, as a glasses wearer, I appreciate this quote, but also I think it's important to reevaluate and refocus, not to dwell too much on negative things going on and just try to realign your thoughts and just adjust your focus. It might feel like it's easier said than done, and in many ways it definitely is, but I think it's important to be intentional about it because that's what makes the difference. So I coloured round the blurry text just to give a little bit of an illusion of blur. And yeah, that's my cover page. I love how it came out. If you do recreate any of my spreads, please tag me on Instagram at temi.journals. I would love to see it. Speaking of recreations, quite a few of you recreated my June spread from last month and I appreciate it so much. So thank you for tagging me and I'm glad you enjoyed it. So for my monthly spread, I do the same layout every month. So I try to make each of the boxes six by six, just so that I have enough space to write in the month. So I've got this black outline at the top, which I filled in with my Tombow pen. And that was a big mistake. People ask all the time what white pen I use. And I normally use my Sakura Jelly Roll white pen, but it's actually more important what base you use for the white pen. And this Tombow is the worst base for a white pen. Okay, it's not the worst but it's definitely top 10 and I literally only remembered after I'd already used this I'm gonna show you how the white pen comes up on this black in comparison to when I use this other calligraphy pen and how nice that comes out I've got this great set of stamps from a shop called in love art shop it's got loads of cameras and so I just used a simple stamp on the left I think the stamp was something like two dollars very affordable I added a goal section to the bottom left I always do a goal section because I try to do monthly goals to align with my yearly goals and yeah I just added a July title to the top of the page and that is it that's my monthly spread For my mood tracker every month, I always link it directly to whatever theme I have. So I'm placing one of the stamps that I've got from In Love Art Shop at the bottom right. And the idea is to have these Polaroids hang in on some sort of string. And yeah, so I've just got these Polaroids. I've got 31 Polaroids hang in and I tried to change the direction that they were hanging just to make it a little bit dynamic. Yeah, this is super simple again. It's just a rectangle with another rectangle on the inside. And look how messed up this stamp came out. Honestly, guys, I thought I had learned something from my nightmare from last month, but apparently not. 
I decided to put the key at the top and I've just got mood tracker written at the top of the page and this time I used my calligraphy black pen for the base and look how much brighter the white comes up it's actually amazing the key is just different shades of my Tombow grey pen because this is a complete black and white theme I don't really want to involve any other colour for my habit tracker I do the exact same layout every month I've always got six habits that I'm tracking and I've got the measurements on my grid spacing page so I flip back just to look at those measurements. For this spread I kind of struggled with the actual layout because I wanted to do something like a Polaroid so the calendar months inside the Polaroid that was the idea that was playing in my head but it just wouldn't fit on the page how I would like it so I really went back and forth a lot but in the end I decided to Put the stamps down first so i'm using some calendar stamps that i got from amazon and guys please if you saw my june plan with me please comment down below right now look at the improvement in my stamps like i can't believe it honestly it was such a nightmare last month but a girl has learned her lesson anyway then i added the title in the same way as the mood tracker but after adding the actual habits that i wanted to track i wasn't liking how simple the page was I don't know what's wrong with me guys I know you know I'm a little bit extra and I kind of do the most so it was just a little bit too minimal for my liking obviously if you're doing these spreads you can do whatever pleases you but for me it was just like mm -mm. so I decided to link it closer to what my mood tracker looks like and then just to add the Monday Tuesday Wednesday in white on the black and I prefer how this looks personally and I added a stamp to the top right of the page Next we've got my gratitude log and for my gratitude log it's the exact same layout I do every single month. I really try to measure it in this new notebook and because this new notebook is not quite A5, it's smaller than I'm used to, it was kind of weird for me to try to fit it in because to fit 31 days long ways and then to fit the title how I normally like it, it just felt really squashed. If you've seen any of my old plan with me's you know what I mean. But in the end, I just added the lines with the lightest Tombow grey pen I've got. And yeah, that's my gratitude log. I always say it every month, it's just for function. So it's usually very simple. But on the right, instead of an art brain dump page, I decided to make a quote page. I found in the last few months that I was using many more art brain dump pages. So a half page wasn't enough anymore. So I just decided to do a full page, which I'll show you in a minute. But for this quote page, I did the quote, take another shot. I used another stamp from the In Love Art Shop set. And it's really cool because the O in shot looks like a camera lens. And I thought that was really cool. So I just outlined it using my Tombow pens and I filled it in. And yeah, I really like how this quote page came out. Tell me what you think down in the comments. And the good Lord knows I don't know how to draw around a circle. My circle came out so wonky, but you know what guys, this is the amazing thing about a bullet journal. It's for my eyes only, except you guys, <laughs> but it's basically for my eyes only. So I don't need to be so precious about it looking perfect. That's especially why I don't use a ruler in my journal. I think it's meant to look like I drew it in, you know, it's meant to look natural for me. So yeah, here's my gratitude log and quote page. Now for my art brain dump page, I have this black paper from Arteza and I really wanted to incorporate this black paper in some way and I wasn't really sure how to do it. So what I decided for in the end was this header almost at the top and then guys, you wouldn't believe it, I realised I ran out of my Pritt stick glue. And honestly, I was just kind of like at the point that should I continue recording tomorrow? Should I just order it on Amazon Prime? Like how how is this empty and I don't notice? But anyway, I found PVA glue, which I used instead. PVA is super watery, so it's not great to use in a book. But I found that this journal held its own really well. So I'm actually really happy with the outcome with my PVA glue. I then cut round the actual shape of the page just to make it look more natural and integrated and I love how it came out. I just wrote art brain dump at the top in a nice cursive and I used some of this film stamp at the bottom of the page just to link it back to the theme a little bit more. And yeah, I like how it came out. Again, my art brain dump page is just for function. I just need some space to write down all my thoughts 
and yeah I think this fit the theme in a really cute way. And now finally for my weekly spread, I went for this idea of Polaroids, so each of the days of the week are in their own Polaroids and again it was super simple, it was just a rectangle with another rectangle on the inside. I wrote the days of the week in my natural cursive and I used another camera stamp from the set just to bring it back to the theme a little bit. I then added a note section to the bottom right and I added some drop shadows. It was a bit random, I must say. <laughs> but, and then I added the grey for the lines and I just added the July block text to the bottom right and that concludes the weekly spread. And this is my complete camera slash photography plan with me for my July spreads. So here's the final flip through. I think the spreads came out so nice. I wasn't sure what to expect from a complete black and white kind of theme, but I really love it. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. And of course, if you recreate it, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. One thing I did notice, and you can see it in the flip through, these stamps bled through. So it's so interesting that no pens bleed through, but the actual stamp ink does. It's really weird. Or is it that I pressed too hard? I don't know. But anyway, that concludes this theme. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Goodbye.